What's good people, it's your boy back at it again with another crazy video for you guys today. We're going to be remaking the most popular video on my channel, which is how to easily make realistic guitar melodies from scratch. So in today's video, we're going to be uh, using some contact libraries for guitars. And of course, we are not going to be using a real guitar. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram. A link is going to be down in the description below. And let's get straight into this video. So we have this library opened up called Evolution Stratosphere and I'm currently using this vintage clean preset but I'm probably going to change that later on for the tempo we are using 153 and for the scale let's choose something random maybe C sharp minor and let's just uh, start laying down these uh, chords first So we have this going on right now and let's just cut out these notes first. Now what we can do, we can add a, a like seventh note on this, these two. And let's just cut out that where it hits like that. Yeah, so that sounds pretty nice. Let's just change the preset real quick. Oh, we can have this like for the certain section of the sample and it sounds really nice. Let's just copy the tone real quick. So that sounds cool, let's also copy that over as well. Maybe we can even pitch this down a few semitones, so like A sharp should be pretty fine. It sounds pretty cool, now let's just change the preset and we'll keep this for a certain part of the sample, so something more chill. And that's pretty much it uh, for now. The biggest tip that I can give you when it comes to these kind of melodies is to learn how the real guitar works. So, and just listen to some uh, guitar beats and some top guitar uh, songs or the songs that have guitar in it. And you already know what I'm saying. So let's just copy this uh, one octave down and just move the velocity down. And also, uh, I'm going to play with uh, velocity. So uh, just press, just select the whole, um, just select the whole pattern besides these uh, bottom notes, and just press Alt and R, and just mess with this uh, velocity knob over here. And also, I'm going to press uh, Alt and X, which is just going to bring this level scaling uh, menu. And just, I'm just going to lower the multiply here, so it lowers the whole uh, velocity here. Let's lower this a lot, actually. Now what we can do with these top melodies, we can just select uh, the whole top melody pattern and just hold shift and uh, scroll down to move it a few, to move it a few steps uh, to the right, so it doesn't sound that robotic. So let's just bring this uh, G sharp uh, closer a little bit. It sounds too off. Now let's see how this sounds. Okay, now that you have the uh, pattern down, we can add this to the mixer and just start adding some uh, some effects. So first I'm going to start with this reverb and just add some bright reverb. 
And this sprite really, really works well with this uh, guitar. And now let's also add that EQ to cut out the low frequency. And then we're going to add some sub bass uh, below this. And we can also even chuck some RC20 to this. Sounds pretty good. Now let's open up another instance of contact and add this Rickenbacker bass from Scarby. So just want to mention a few things. First off, I changed the guitar library to this Evolution Hollow Body Blues because it fits this vibe more. And Evolution Startup Sphere is also pretty good uh, guitar library. It just doesn't fit this vibe that I'm looking for right now. And I think this uh, library is pretty good for the, some counter melodies and I'm maybe going to use that later on. And for the sub bass, we're using this uh, Rickenbacker bass. And for the preset, we have this dub bass. So let's just get straight into this. Let's just follow these root notes that we have down there. We can just copy this one. And we change the preset to this no return uh, one and let's just add this to the mixer real quick. Just lower the... Okay, so I'm not even kidding. This sound keeps playing whenever I record freaking video. It just keeps playing, playing randomly in the middle of recording. I don't know why. I really can't remember what I did, but basically, just so you know, I was watching porn while recording that video, so yeah. Okay, now we can also open up Omnisphere and add some kind of uh, layers to this, so maybe like piano behind this, just layer these chords with some piano. So let's open a Keyscape and my go-to uh, preset is this softest one, and let's just follow these chords. Now let's move this up one octave and just strum these notes. And maybe even uh, make these notes shorter and just copy this over a few times. Oops, not that. And just copy this over right here. You can also randomize the velocity and just alt and X to lower them. Just give the whole sample more feel to it and just make it sound more full. So let's open up uh, this reverb and just add some reverb as well. Now that's it for the guitars and the uh, piano. Now let's open up Arcade and just add some subtle vocals in the background and that should be it for this sample. So my go-to library in uh, Arcade for these kind of vocals is definitely hooked. So let's just go through some of these. And since this is D major and we're working in F sharp minor, we're just going to flip this to F sharp. Maybe pitch this up one octave. That sounds perfect, what the hell? Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Let's add it to the mixer and start um, adding some effects to this. So first, we need some EQ to cut out that harsh high frequency. So we're going to be using this bandpass narrow. And let's also add this pancake to have it moving from left to right. And let's see how the final product sounds like. You 
Okay, so now that we have the whole uh, sample uh, done, we can start arranging this. So first off, I'm going to have the most interesting part in the first eight bars, and then I'm just going to copy this guitar and the sub bass here, and then I'm going to copy the guitar and the piano, and we're gonna have this all without the sub bass, and I'm just going to make this simple pockets here because of the reverb, so the reverb from this doesn't decay on this, and it makes just whole sample muddy. Now since whenever I export something made from a contact it has some crackling so I'm going to just record uh, most of these sounds to Edison and then I'm going to export them. And now to have the whole sample here we can cut out these pockets and this is the river that I was talking about. Now they have the whole sample down we cut out these pockets now we can uh, change the key of the sample so set the mode to stretch and just pitch down to semitone let's see how that sounds. That is pretty much it, that's how I make a realistic guitar melody without an actual guitar. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys learned something new. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video and follow me on Instagram. Link is going to be down in the description below and I'm going to catch you in the next one.